the difference. Um, personal possession, uh, depending on the substance, usually wouldn't result in a uh, imprisonment if you're convicted. If you're convicted of sale or supply of any substance, it, there's an automatic jail sentence uh, triggered in the judge's mind. There's a lot of pressure on the judiciary to come down hard on people who are selling drugs. And a lot of judges take it as a personal kind of mission of theirs to make sure that people who deal in drugs are jailed. So if you're charged with sale or supply of drugs, you've got a lot of work to do uh, to avoid custody. It can be done, but you've, again, you've got to work hard. A lot of that's down to your analysis. Again, go, I'm coming back to your analysis, but that's really important, uh, as well as doing counseling and things of that nature. But there is work to be done to avoid jail. It can be done um, if, you, if you're willing to work hard. What happens in court on that day, it depends on the substance. Generally speaking, what I would always do is if, if I'm representing a client, I'll have the case adjourned and I'll ask that the state will, uh, the guards will give me the disclosure, give me the evidence, all of the evidence that they have against you regarding this stop and search or this search of drugs so that I know what's in those statements. So it's one thing for you to say, well, this is what happened. I want to know what they say and we'll go through those things or I tend to go through them with my clients to see, well, do you agree the guard says this? Do you agree? Yes, I, I do or no, I don't. And if you're happy with the evidence, then you've got two options on, on the second day, the, re the return date. That's either to plead guilty to the charge or if you, can t if you think that it didn't happen or this is not true, you plead not guilty. And then the trial date's fixed and then you get ready for the trial date, whenever that, that'd be a third day out, generally speaking. If you've been caught in possession of drugs, what happens next? Well, what happens next is you will be summoned to court. Uh, depending on, no matter what the guard says to you, and sometimes people tell me the guard said there, there won't be a summons. There will be a summons, guaranteed, 100%. There'll be a summons to court. Uh, depends on the quality of the substance, whether it's cannabis, heroin, cocaine, you know, benzos, whatever it is. If it's, uh, sub if, if it's cannabis, it's you know, under a certain value, it's going to be district court. If it's the other substances and it's of a higher value, you could be going before the circuit court, before a judge and jury, if they think you're, you had it in possession for sale or supply.